Hello friends, welcome to part 1 uh, of uh, Solve Paper 2022, 4th semester, Debrugger University, VSU 4th sem uh, paper C10, which is analog system and applications, okay? And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID, Oza, like it 123, okay? So before we start, please subscribe the channel, hit the thumbs up button, also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you, help me to grow my channel, and also press the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded. So now let's start. So here is the first question, when reverse bias is applied to a junction diode, uh, then what happens? So let me read the options one by one, width of depletion layer decreases, that is false, potential barrier increases, that is correct okay so answer is our answer is number two option number two okay so hope you have understood this now let's move on to the next mcq so the rectification efficiency of full wave rectifier is two times of half wave rectifier okay it's double okay this is option three so the next question here you see so questions is a state of that is negativity and in a transistor amplifier the input impedance should be high which of the following electrical characteristics is not exhibited by an open that is infinite output resistance okay so now let me give you the answer to question number 2a so what gonna be the answer to this question so explain depletion layer is formed under the unbiased situation of pn junction unbiased okay so let me give you the answer so here is the answer to a question number two a answer uh, here is the explanation let me show you the diagram on the other side uh, on a new slide so here you can see the diagram here yeah. okay so now what is the next question let me show you so B, explain the current flow mechanism in forward and reverse bias P and junction. Let me give you the answers. And uh, there is one more question. Either you have to solve this one or this one. I will show you this one later. Okay, not in this video, in the next video. Okay. So first, let me show this one B. So here is two B answer. Two B. Current flow in forward bias P and junction and uh, here in reverse bias okay so now let's move on to question number three okay so we have solved uh, these two i will i'm gonna answer this question uh, in the next video okay uh, now what is question number three so here is the question number three a explain with circuit diagram the zener diode as a voltage regulator so let me show you the answer so here is the answer three a okay Zener diode as a voltage stabilizer or stabilizer or uh, voltage regulator. Okay, so this is first slide. Take the screenshot and this is the next one. So answer is here. Okay, so what is the next question? Let's move on to the next question. So describe the working of LED. So let me give you the description of working of LED. This is the answer to 3B working of LED. So this is not completed here so this is another slide take the screenshot and the last one is this okay so that's how led work so now what is the question number four draw the ce circuit of transistor it gets the uh, its output characteristics and explain the active cutoff and saturation region. okay let me give you the answer uh, so here is the answer to question number four here is the first four uh, a answer so uh, take the screenshot and uh, this is the next slide and the answer is completed here this is the last part okay so now let's move on to next question what is the next question here for b define alpha and beta of transistor write the relation between them okay let me give you the answer so answer to question number 4b is this this is the you know definition of alpha this is the definition of beta and uh, take the screenshot okay and here is the relation between alpha and beta this is the required relation here you can see 
okay so remaining questions will be solved in the next part thank you for watching see you in the next video stay connected bye bye